Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here at Henneth Anun. I made sure I was not near that waterfall because it's driving me crazy, honestly. Um, <laughs> I just need to get away from it. But we have uh, a bunch of quests that we need to do today. So if we have a look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, technically, to complete. We're going to focus on the ones I've got on my tracker for the moment. But before we do get into that, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day and of the week. So let's have a quick look at what they're going to be. It's going to be a scroll of finesse. Not honestly that great. And then a massive pile of silver scraps, which is just two gold for us, which is quite nice, actually. We're going to quickly talk to these guys. We're gathering reports from the rangers of Athelion. Um, I think they're generally just in the area around, uh, just sort of hanging about. So that shouldn't be too difficult for us. Um, hopefully not too much of a pain. There's one more, and then we'll probably have... Uh, oh, there's one more by the actual entrance. From this vantage point, you can see the Forbidden Pool and much of its surroundings. I don't know what that was part of. Um, maybe it was that. That might be... Because we only had four quests, I'm pretty sure. So that must have just gone on. And I don't know. That's, that's interesting. Um, either that or that fifth quest was there as part of the epic, and I was just not looking at it because probably fearful foe and having the emote thing messed me up. But no, definitely, uh, I'm pr like 99% sure that wasn't there until just then. Oh, it's so quiet. It's so lovely. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it's all lovely, having no annoying audio. So there's uh, Mastering the Winds. We'll we'll remove that for now. We have Aragorn to talk to. Uh, do we talk to him now, or do I go and do some other quests first? Um, These may remain hidden by the beauty of this land. Okay, maybe we'll we'll accept it because I mean, it wants us to go that way. We need to go that way for a bit. Do we, fearful foe? Oh, okay. We can kind of do that as a two and one. We need to sort of go back around this way. Um, but I guess we could go up and around, maybe, because there are quite a few enemies there. That could that could be something we do. Uh, possibly worth it. We will see, though. So, right. So we're looking specifically for searchers. Now, do we have to defeat them, or do we have to kill them? And also, can I do this? I can. Cool. So, and then we're looking for the other enemies which are going to be up there. So, once again, it's a lovely case of we don't actually have to do much. We only have to find one of each enemy, technically. You could find six, but if you really don't have the time to, or you don't want to, or whatever, you can just spam it on the same character, or same uh, enemy, multiple times, which just works, which is good. Now we need to find this lookout spot northeast of Henneth Anun that Aragorn has mentioned. Uh, I feel like we're going to get stuck in a tree because I felt like I shouldn't have gone through that tree. Right, there's a lookout area. Supposedly here. Ah, oh, Fanny. The ranger Orndil uh, nods to you as you arrive at his lookout post. Look into the distance. And then talk to Orndil. Well, you spy movement on the northeast but cannot tell for certain. Find the lookout spot further northeast. So essentially it's taking us through there anyway. We need to go there to get this quest completed. Then Shadows of Othelion uh, needs me to go there, there, and then back here, which we will have to do at a later point. I'm basically just trying to get a lot done today. I feel like, uh, you know, we obviously got to level 112 last episode, but, you know. Oh, I'll catch up with him. Look into the distance. Boom. Oh, do I not? Do I not have to go any further? That is what I suspected. Okay. Your enemies seek to ambush King Fair enough. Okay, they're seeking to ambush us. Uh, but yeah, basically, I just want to get a lot done today. We have um, over a million, nearly 1.3 million bonus XP. So we need to be using that as much as we can. Also, obviously, the whole um, quests of North Ithilien, uh thing. We're currently 20 quests off completion. And yeah, just the... I like being productive in these. I feel like 
We didn't get a- we, like, we got a lot of XP in the last episode, but we didn't get much done. We kind of just listened to some stories, so having a bit more progress, I think, is something that I do definitely want to do. Um, right, so, as I said, we only need to find one of these guys, because we should just be able to spam it once again. And that's good. Now we just need to find... Ah, here. Here, maybe? This area. We need to patrol the abandoned refuge. Crate of long spoiled meat. I feel like we're going to get attacked. Maybe not. Oh, see? I told you we we're going to get attacked. I didn't expect it to be from a troll, though. To be fair, we could just run out, but I do think it's probably worth just killing him. Oh, we also... It's part of another quest, at least. I guess that's worth looking into. Right, I'm gonna take these completed quests off. We'll do what we can there. We don't really care about Grips of Mordor. It's just basically kill enemies in general. Um, I don't need to kill mountain lions, but I kind of do, because he's here. And then, yeah, if we look at the map, we're gonna... Probably the best thing for us to do is just... No, you're a mountain lion, not a battle cat. Uh, we'll go up to here to patrol that place. Then we'll come down through here, do what we need to do here. Come down here, maybe? I don't know what the green one, Trolls of the Gardens. We'll come do that up there and back up. So it might be a little bit of a longer episode today, but I think it's going to be, uh, you know, worth the progress, I think. Um, and it's not that we didn't get anything done, but I feel like it'll make up a little bit for the feeling of not getting a lot done in the last episode, even though we did get, like, 280k or something like that. No, like, 460k, something like that. Because it's, like, 92k and then we did four quests. So it's 180... Yeah. No. 360. 350. Something like that. I don't know. I can't do math right now. I'm trying to think. But, um, yeah. We leveled up. We got quite a lot of XP. It just feels, again, like we didn't get a massive amount done, even though we did. Um... So enough of me babbling on about that. Let us carry on, though. We need to only find three more abandoned refuges. However, uh, there are a lot more trolls, supposedly, around the area. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but this one up here... Would it be worth even just trying to get to Aragorn's camp? I'm not sure. The annoying thing is it means I can't just run away from the troll. I kind of have to defeat it. A ranger's loss. Collect the ranger's brooch. You see orcish trappings within the refuge and something glints in the dark nearby. A brooch is dusty and worn and its beautiful beauty remains unblemished. Okay. Maybe I don't have to defeat a troll here. We'll go out and see. Because I'll be able to see on the map properly. Um, no, nothing requires us to be here except the grip of Mordor would be a thing. Debts repaid. I don't know. What that quest is. Is that... Oh, that's Search for the Yarl's Company. Which is the one that's like... Off to the side. I don't know where it is. Um, we'll worry about that at a different point. I don't know about... Yeah, so basically we can take that off our tracker. Debts repaid goes there. If we take off debts repaid, it's just over here. Yeah, those two blue ones there. It's actually not too bad. We're just going to have to watch out for this warband as we come down. So we'll probably just skip across the river. Um... Just to get out of the way of that. I mean, if we wanted to be really quick, we could actually use... Um, Desperate Flight. Because Desperate Flight is going to take us right there. Now, purple. What is purple? Predators from the east. So that is defeat battle cats. So... You guys over here. We need to defeat six of you. That should be relatively easy, I think. As long as we aren't stupid about it, then then it will be easy. Um, Alright. Okay, cool. And a thousand experience. I will always be happy about that. Having a thousand experience from a kill. So yeah, we'll patrol downwards, we'll have to just kill what uh, cats we've got, we'll go into the refuge that is nearby, search that one, um, 
then by the time we come out, hopefully there are more battle camps over that, or there might be some in the area. I think I remember there was an enemy, the one of the... Um, uh, I can't remember what their name would be, but it's basically one of the commanders of battle cat things. Uh, this guy. Cat Keeper. Because there's two battle cats plus a cat keeper. That puts us up to four out of six. That's pretty good. And then we just need to wait for two more, which shouldn't be too bad. Now, obviously this battle cat is an ally, so we'll focus on this one first. Kill the cat keeper, and then we will go to kill the other one. So we're not having to worry about three enemies instead of... You know, two. And this guy shouldn't be too difficult to defeat. He literally has half the damage, or half the morale, rather. Did that not count? Or is it not ravenous? Oh, I guess it's just a regular bat. Oh, I guess it's not ravenous if it's trained, maybe? Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we're only halfway there. Whoa! <laughs> what happened here? Grip of Mordor. Oh, that's the just kill enemies in general. We don't want to worry about that too much. Um, we'll put on Trolls of the Garden uh, quickly, because otherwise we don't particularly care. Yeah, so these are just battle cats. They don't count. So this will be four, five, and then if we find six, is right up there. So that's fine. That means we actually don't have to worry about the um, the cat keepers, which is good. And that's my first heritage rune in quite a while, I think. Not been getting those as often, I've noticed. Maybe it's that, or they've been going in here. Nope. Or I might have just not noticed, because at least the early ones that we're more likely to get, the 1k, 3k, and stuff like that, are just in my inventory, and will slowly stack up. But we've only got two and two of each, so... I do think it's more than likely we just haven't been getting the drops. Right. And then our final one should just be over here. I'm just trying to think of... If we get 92k per one... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quests. We should get like nearly 900k XP today. Definitely like 810k minimum. That's going to be a lot of XP. And it's not going to be all our bonus XP, but it's probably the best we can hope for in quite a while. Um, that guy is the guy right next to me, actually. He's just up here, I think. Over that, or it's a troll that I'm worried about. Really? Oh, okay. So I, I do remember... Okay, I'm just going to kill these guys. I was hoping that I could probably just outrun them or something, or at least it wasn't going to be an interacting thing. It would just be a, hey, you saw there was a troll here, or whatever. Um, but no, it's it's an interact, examine sort of thing. So we are just going to defeat these guys. I mean, if the XP's worth it, I guess. You know, not a hugely difficult battle, honestly, especially since we get rid of the battle cats. There we are. All right, examine you. The sun was caught in the sunlight of the dawnless day faded. Or when the dawnless day faded. And then we still have a grip of Mordor just showing up on our thing. I don't know if we'll complete grip of Mordor, honestly. Um, I think it would just be a case of a maybe. Like, it would just be done whilst we're carrying on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, I've only got four quests I have to worry about now. Um, so yeah, we'll do these two, come back here, then I guess go back to Aelin, uh, Heneth Anun, go down there to Aelin Varen, and then back up to the top, so. This is probably what I'm after? No? Up north. Ah, Slain Varig. The various lay slain with the blade of Eastlings made uh, of Eastlings make protrudes from his chest. And then down here should be our final little thing. Rustling bush. Uh, 
I was about to say, I feel like some enemies are going to come out of there because there's no way it would be rustling without. All right, where's the Yarl? Oh, these are, at least it kind of helps towards our kill thing. It's just annoying that it's 20. It's kind of just an awkward... Uh, well, not awkward, but just quite a large, a long number. Hey, the Yarl is here. Let's complete this quest whilst we're talking to him. And then we have follow the western roadway northward from Cairn Andros. So it wants us to carry up that way. Okay. I don't see why not. We have to go that way anyway now. We need to go over here for new life, which is collect the seeds. And then we have uh, to go talk to... Well, apparently we have to go up there for two quests. That quest and... Oh no. It's just uh, because it's flashing, that's all. Right, so do I have to kill enemies for this, or, or what's going on? Like, how am I obtaining these seeds? Am I just collecting them from here? Oh no, they are on the floor as an individual thing. So we'll get off our steed, because otherwise I feel like it's going to cause issues. We've got to find six of each, so it's actually going to be harder than the other one was. Especially considering... If we press delete, we're going to go for the plant still. Obviously, I've said before, or I said last episode at the very least, that it's not a huge deal if we go for them. You know, they're not um, going to take up inventory space. If we pick it up, it's just files of whatever extract that it is. So it's not going to be a huge issue. But it does take up a little bit of time. So I'd rather just sort of run around and try and find what I'm after. And uh, especially with the smaller map, it is a little easier to navigate whilst... Uh, you know, still um, looking at the map, I guess, and we can sort of focus on the individual quest rings of the outlying uh, seeds. And as long as these wood bears, um, yeah, wood bears are probably going to attack us, or at the very least, threaten to attack us. The does are only going to, uh, or the deer are only going to uh, threaten for the most part. Actually, the does might not even threaten, but the bucks, I think, will do. I could be wrong though, both could possibly uh, do the same. Oh, and the Prowlers as well. I mean, if we have to get into battle, it's not a huge deal. Um, these guys aren't going to be too difficult to kill, 20, 28k, but if we can help it, it's probably best to not uh, have to worry. Right, any more seeds around here? No, maybe not. This is kind of calming from uh, having to kill so many enemies. Just, you know, picking some seeds out of the ground. It's not too bad. Right, uh, we only have one more horsetail, luckily. I feel like as soon as we get that last horsetail, a lot, or not a lot actually, but a decent amount, I think, of the whole uh, highlighted area will go. Oh, what am I being attacked by? A hawk. I didn't even realize you were there. I think it's a testament to these quests that we've been going almost 20 minutes. And it really doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it feels like I only just started the episode. I mean, we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, technically, because uh, we've already completed it. Quests done. Today, so we've got a lot done. It's not like uh, we've been slacking off or anything, but it just doesn't feel like it's almost 20 minutes in, which I think is good. But I'm just hoping today doesn't turn into another 40 40 minute episode or so, because um, they they can be a little bit of a pain to upload. Right, so these two here, I'm hoping are an ox slip and a vetchling. If it isn't, we kind of have to just go a little bit further out of our way. Not a huge deal. But we'll do that, and then I think... Who is it I need to talk to? Predators from the East. Uh, I think that's who we need to talk to for this quest anyway. So we'll go back to him, complete those two quests. And then... Um, carry on with what the Jarl wants us to do, I guess. We'll have a quick look. And then we need to just get these trolls sorted. Oh, we need to plant the seeds in the fertile soil in the North Ithilien. 
Okay, so we need to go south to plant seeds in the north. I mean, it, the whole area is called North Ithilien, so I mean, I get it, but I just found that a little bit funny to me. Right, we'll go down, up, around, then we'll probably skip back down to here. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I'm going to get rubber banded. Oh, is that what that uh, that soil I saw earlier was? Is fertile soil for for this? Yeah, fertile soil. I thought it was something that had been buried or something along those lines for um, the Jarl uh, quest, but I guess not. Now we only need to do six, so I guess I don't know how we're breaking that down. We collected six of each seed, so I guess we do two sets of three for each one. Yeah. That would make a little bit of sense to me. Now while we're here... Do we do that quest? I think it might be worth it. I think that one could just be a statue as well. Uh, possibly. Oh, that was literally not worth it. I thought it was a lot shallower than it actually looked. Right, so we only got two more trolls. It'll be this one. And there's one up here. But we've got to go down here as well. So that's the only one that's slightly annoying, because we kind of have to go out of our way. Yeah, this one's Sun-Touched Morgul Troll. So just examine it, eventually. There we are, caught in the sunlight of the Dawnish Day... Faded. Very easy one there. Uh, but yeah. Oh, we got a champion's belt at some point. I didn't see that. Uh, but yeah, we just have to do these. Luckily, they're not too difficult. It's kind of relaxing almost. It's like pretty, pretty calming. Yeah, we had a, a troll sort of surprise us, but you know. I kind of expected it to be an enemy, as I said, but I just didn't. I guess, assume it was going to be a troll. I kind of forgot the other quest was there, so I think that's another reason why. We haven't seen one of these yet. A Sethrin's Crown. What the earth was that? Was that the woodworm? Woodworm? Yeah, woodworm. Yes, it was. Please don't do that. That's upsetting to me. So we're kind of just doing them in bundles of two. Like, they're very close to each other. So we'll go over to this one as our final one. Wherever it is. There it is, right in front of us. And then I assume we're talking to Aeroblin. Yeah, okay. So we've got to go back to him. See what the Jarl's talking about up here through Worn Torn Lands. We're not going to worry too much. If it takes us anywhere further, we probably won't worry about it. I'm mainly going up here to complete the two quests. We'll go up here. We'll go back to Henneth and Nun. Um, head up to here. Actually, no, we'll probably head down to Aelum Varen, sort of area first, complete this final one, head up to, back to Hennethanun, complete this, and then complete all the quests over there. I think that's probably how we'll do it. It's going to take a little while, but it's definitely going to be worth it, as I said, about nine, 810 to 900k, depending on how this uh, through War Torn Lands does. It would be definite if, if we did Grips of Mordor. But I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. I'm not going to go out of my way. If an enemy ha happens to be there, uh, Yarl Gotham's company was cut us path through the uh, Kandala along the roadway. Okay, I've gone past where I need to be. <laughs> A little bit. There you are. I didn't see you the other time. You're very good at hiding then. Right, new life. No, no, and then finish stand. that, and then that's all his quests done. So again, also hosts of the West Silver Pieces. I don't know how many I've got. Um, host, host, host. Can I not control A? Host. I have 202 hosts of the West Silver Pieces now. That is actually quite a lot. I'm going to just quickly head up north, see how this is going. I mean, it's actually might be worth going back around this way. Just to... Uh, 
keep everything a bit more concise and also it's very awkward to get back up there. Head down south and then back up, even though it's going to be a bit of a waste of time. More slain are strewn across the bridge. There's a lot going on here. A lot of them being slain. We are actually very, very close. I didn't even realize how close we are to the camp of the host. Almost seems worth it to go. But we will leave that for a little while. Turn eastward before they were slain. So we are back the way I want to go at least. Which is all good. I'm just worried at one point we're just going to see them be slain. Okay. Some more. Northeast. Oh gods, look how many there are. I feel like we're going to have to dismount here. Pace restlessly as he peers across the river. Oh, he has an instance for us. So perfect for us not to do right now and focus on it some other point. What we'll do, because I didn't really read it, I um, I will have a quick look at that while we head down this way. So, um, can be found across the river from the southwest of Ewa Hujim. Hujim? Uh, you've rallied to Jarl Guthrilm's side and should now aid him and his company in seeking vengeance against the Kundalar. Uh, and his company have traveled to the stronghold to deal with the vengeance upon... Okay, so there's a stronghold sort of there-ish then, I guess, across the uh, the little bit of river there. And they kind of want their vengeance, so we're just going to go uh, go with them and allow them that vengeance that they so desire. That's fair enough then. But not something we'll do for the moment, obviously. Uh, I'm going to focus on doing this one. Run down here. I might even skip to going there because it is a little bit of a trek. And then that should be the last troll one, I think. No, this is the last troll one. This is Shadows of Ithilien. So that hopefully shouldn't be too much of a pain. Um, unless we get ambushed by, you know, multiple different types of enemies. At which point I will probably run straight out. Uh, but I think... Considering the first one, well, one of them had parts of trolls in the garden, and the other one had the uh, the ranger's pendant. Was it called the ranger's? A ranger's lost the brooch. That's the word I'm after. Um, oh, it's literally right out here. That's really easy. Um, and then we have possibly, I guess. Oh, are you kidding me? That I need to go back to him. <laughs> okay. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. I didn't realize he was the one who gave us that quest. We will have to make our way over there then. Uh, what I'll do though is we'll make our way south th uh, first. Annoyingly, uh, this has still got 10 minutes on it. So unless we do end up having a 40 minute episode, then when we're going to be out of luck a little bit. But um, Desperate Flight would be perfect for it. But what we'll do is since we're going to complete this, we'll then head up, I guess, go through here and then back around. Because uh, we kind of know it a little better now, so we can kind of do it. Um, but yeah, because it's going to take a while, I'm going to skip over to this one. We'll do this one quickly, then skip up to here probably, so I'm not wasting too much time. And then we'll make our way back up to Henneth Anun and finish all these quests, because it's going to be nice to give them all in. So I'll see you in a second when we're down here. Okay, I can see where we're going to now. It is just up here, I think. Yeah, right there. And the spiders have overrun the refuge. Tangled webs. Defeat spiders and destroy spider eggs. That's how you get out of here. That's where we want to go. So, I need to defeat spiders. These, oh, okay. These are small spiders, but they actually do have a decent amount of morale. I'm used to when I see small spiders, about thinking of um, the area that's in uh, near Archit. And they normally don't count to anything. But do you do you actually count? You do count. Good. Okay, so we need to def defeat eight spiders and destroy eight webs. So it shouldn't be too... Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more difficult. But I'm thinking it'll be quicker to do the... It's going to be quicker to defeat the spiders than it is to um, do the webs, I feel. 
I feel like we're gonna have to kill more than eight, definitely. But that's not a huge deal for us. What do we just get? Just some reeking filth. Okay, so just random girl of vendor trash is gonna be what we get from that. But, I mean, that's another quest, so that's gonna be... I mean, all things considered, extra added up, if we are all 92Ks, uh, which we can probably check. Yeah, 92K still. We're probably gonna have gained over a million XP this episode. Um, that's actually pretty impressive, I'd like to think. I think that'll be definitely good for us. Yeah, so... This is going to be our eighth spider, but we've only destroyed two webs so far. So we're definitely going to have to go down what looks like one of these other paths and then defeat those. Um, but at least, I mean, it's better than... I think it's good that we're in here and doing something because otherwise it would have been skip to here and then skip straight up to um, Erebolin. And I feel like that just that's very jarring and doesn't work too well. So I'm actually kind of happy we have something to do here. I just feel otherwise it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be, it would be, yeah, jarring I think is the best way to describe it, honestly. I need to just th destroy three more of these. I just basically got to kill this weaver and then I'll be fine, I think, because I see two. Assuming this doesn't aggro, which it doesn't, good. We'll defeat this one, destroy these two, and then hopefully uh, this should um, be quick enough that we haven't aggroed, or not aggroed, um, haven't allowed the uh, ones we started with to respawn yet. And I assume we're going to have to go back to Hennethanen for this. Yeah, Mablung is who we need to talk to. Thought as much, because it's kind of based off Shadows of the Thelion, so it made sense to me that that would happen. Right. Let's go uh, to Ereblin then, because that's where we need to go now. Okay, so we make our way back up to him, and I feel like this might end up having more quests for us. Normally when there's like three quests, it requires all three of those quests to be completed before we get another quest chain. Um, I thought we were done with Ereblin, but we might actually not be by the end of this, so let's the finish off that. The deeds of men and orcs yeah, no, he's just disappeared, so fair enough, as he just gone back to... Um, he might have just gone back to Henneth and then that actually might be worth looking out for. When we go in there, if we can hear ourselves and think over the waterfall noise, then it might be worth actually looking into if he's there. But now, let us have a quick run down here over the bridge. We're going to then make our way back up to Henneth and Nun, as we know it is not possible, seemingly possible, to go up on the left side, so we have to go up on the right side. It's far too difficult to do that otherwise. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at if he's going to be there. We kind of know how to make our way up here now. It's kind of just diagonal this way and then up and around. Um, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven quests. No, one, two, three, four, five, six more quests to give in. So, yeah, we've done about 400k today um so yeah should be should be an interesting one it's very productive and a very long episode as well um we're what like maybe about 35 35 minutes in something like that it's gonna be a long one i did say i wanted <laughs> i kind of didn't want to do another 40 minute episode but you know if if needs be then then they can be done not going to be a huge deal. Okay. So, Henneth and Un, We are back, finally. Feels like forever ago we were last here. So, Aragorn, do we talk to you now? To finish your quest. Have spoken to me of that pass. Talk to Hethredir by the lookout point over the Forbidden Pool. So, that was the one to the right. Um, that's not going to be something we worry about too much. I'm going to dismount because otherwise I'm going to have some troubles. And then we want to have a look if we can find... I've already forgotten his name, but I'll probably know it when I see it. We just need to see who's here and not be deafened by everything that's going on. And then next episode we'll probably carry on with the epic quest since it's very, very close. I love it. There's so many quest rings. Hey, Erblin. Told you I'd know his name. 
we'll, uh, I guess we'll, 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 uh, forge his basket. Oh. Yeah, I guess we'll just pick up his quests, but we'll complete what we have here for now. So, complete yours. And then Mablong is the majority of it, I think. And then we have retaking Torngroth, uh, which is just a repeatable. And then breaking the trap. Okay, so we'll accept these. Do we also have you to give a ranger's loss? And then we've got another quest. Fill the water skins from the Forbidden Pool. Uh, the east reaches of the stream and the western reaches of the stream as well. So, what's this we have? An inventory overflow. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we'll get rid of the scroll of finesse for now, so we can have that in our inventory. And uh, we should probably sell off that stuff, but for now, we will end off a lot done. I don't think any more quests to complete. We'll put these... Where, have, where are all these quests? Oh, herbalism. I mean, those, yeah, these are all herbal, herbalism ones. We'll focus on these, I think, in the next episode, along with this quest. But nonetheless, yeah, we'll uh, we'll focus on these in the next episode, plus those, so that's five quests uh, to focus on. I mean, obviously, one of them is repeatable. So are these, I mean, we could, like, that. And then if those four count towards that, that's five quests, maybe. And that gives us Ethelian Essence Fragment, which is good, because if these are all dailies, or at least um, maybe even weeklies, I'm not sure, uh, then you can start getting Ethelian Essences, and then start getting good Essences for our uh, Essence slot gear, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, Forager's Baskets, which are basket filled with variety. Okay, so basically they are uh, usable items that might give us some some decent um, stuff. Rare North Athelian crafting ingredients. There we are. But um, yeah, we've yeah used about a million XP today. That's actually impressive. Next episode, we'll see if we can get close to that. Um, if we keep this up, it's not going to be long before we get to level 113. So we're getting very, very close to you know being very, very powerful for when Mordor comes out. If we can get in Mordor <laughs> at, like, the level cap at Mordor, at the time Mordor came out, which would have been 115. That's quite impressive, I think. Um, or possibly more, 116. I think it's probably the highest we would be able to get to before we even start in Mordor if we don't, you know, spend entire episodes focused to leveling. Um, like doing walk pens or something. But, nonetheless, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.